IWC Filmmakers Awards and last night the opening of the DIFF Gala was just fantastic but unfortunately Emily Blunt slipped through our fingers. Let's talk about how disappointed we are that Emily Blunt just walked past us. What do you think our chances are tonight, Punam? I'm just going to grab her. I have no choice but to grab her. But the good thing about uh, something, we've just found out she's been nominated for a Golden Globe Awards for Into the Woods, which is premiering here on the last side on the 17th at DIFF. So that must be really good news for her. She just heard about it about an hour ago, so we'll have to ask her. You know, I think she's going to be in a good mood this evening because she's been nominated. So hopefully we should get an interview with her. Fingers crossed. Yes, Dina and Lane, here's to you. You're a man who's produced and directed some outstanding films and as the head of the jury here for the Moore Awards, what do you think of the quality of the films and how many have you had to watch? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only, day, it's only day one. You shouldn't have said yes then. You know, here's the thing. Why no. did you say yes? I said yes because, um, because I said no last year and they asked me to be the head and I was um, doing um, The Butler. And so oh, I that little film. That little film, yeah. And, I could, and so, and, and I've never been here before, and I so wanted, you know, it's so great, what's good about being in Dubai is, is that, you know, I'm not a minority. There's so many people of color around, and it's beautiful to be around it. Physically beautiful people, in, uh, spiritually beautiful people, wow, a lot. And, I, oh, and that's day one. How many days catch are you here? Day, catch me day two. <laughs> You've seen enough films. You all want to make films for a long, long time. Next. <laughs> I'm with one of the nominees for the IWC Filmmaker Awards this evening. Ahad, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. You must be really nervous because there's a lot at stake here this evening. Yes, absolutely. If you can look at my legs, they're shaking. <laughs> So, so tell me, how did you get here? Because, I mean, even to be able to uh, be nominated for something like this is a big deal. So how did you manage to get here? Well, we were very lucky. I mean, the story speaks for itself, and it's a very, very strong story. I think that's what got us here. And obviously, the team of producers I work with, uh, Terwa Polga Vigian and uh, Alessandra Granti, is, is, is partly why we're here today, because of all the effort they've put into this project. So I'm very happy to be a part of, uh, you know, one of the nominees and competing with these guys as well, because it, it, it creates the healthy competition that we need. How's it like being in Dubai? Are you excited? Very excited. It's really nice to be in Dubai. Everybody is so nice, and I enjoy the uh, the Arabic food. What are you doing this year? It's been a fantastic year, to be honest. Like uh, every year, it's better than the year before, and this year has been absolutely amazing. I've done amazing things. I've performed in places like Sydney and Oslo and New York, and for an Arabic-speaking comic, it's, it's it's an amazing thing to know that I can reach Arab audiences in places like Sydney and Norway. And I also acted in a film, which is Ali Mustafa's Yay. film. So that's very exciting, A to B, and I was in that as well. So that's been fantastic. I released my first DVD, uh, stand-up comedy DVD. Why on the demand team, like you said, we're friends. We're all really proud of you, you know. You're our favorite Korean that speaks Arabic. I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Marhaba, I'm Wanoho Chong, and you on Dubai On Demand. <laughs>